For over two centuries, the people of the United States have been protected by the Fourth Amendment from unreasonable searches. Today, over 200 years later, courts are still trying to define for us what those protections are and what it means to be a search under the Fourth Amendment. We learned part of the answer thanks to an enterprising drug dealer named Danny Lee Kylo and his encounter with the advanced technology of the Oregon National Guard. In January 1992, an Oregon National Guardsman was assisting federal authorities with the Kylo drug investigation. That soldier was armed not with a rifle, but with a new piece of technology, a thermal imaging device. While the technology would seem crude in today's world, in 1992, it was a hot new piece of technology. The thermal imager could read heat signatures by examining the heat escaping from a house or a room in the house, the thermal imager could tell law enforcement the relative heat inside a dwelling. This was particularly useful to the Bureau of Land Management, who was investigating Danny Lee Kylo for manufacturing and distributing marijuana. Growing marijuana inside a house usually requires high intensity heat lamps, and the thermal imager was the perfect technology at least perfect in 1992, to see that there was heat in Kylo's house consistent with these heat lamps. The thermal imager read the heat leaving Kylo's house and found that there were indeed high levels of heat above the garage and from a side wall of the house. This heat was much higher than the rest of the house, much higher than the neighbor's homes, and it was entirely consistent with using the attic of that house to grow marijuana under heat lamps. Armed with the thermal imaging results and other information, an agent from the Bureau of Land Management applied for and received a search warrant to search Kylo's home for a marijuana grow operation. Federal officers executed the warrant in late January 1992 and found marijuana and a grow operation in Kylo's attic right where they suspected. Kylo was charged in federal court with manufacturing marijuana. Kylo's attorney moved to suppress the evidence, claiming the use of the thermal imager was an illegal search under the Fourth Amendment. But was it a search at all? The Oregon Guardsmen never stepped foot on Kylo's property, never entered onto the curtilage of the home, and never went inside Kylo's house. The thermal imager did not even read what the temperature was inside the home. It only read the heat that was leaving the home. But from that, officers could infer that the attic was hot, and it was hot because Kylo was using heat lamps to grow marijuana. The leading case that defined a search under the Fourth Amendment was, and still is today, Katz versus United States. Katz tells us that a search was a government intrusion into an area where an individual has a reasonable expectation of privacy. Here, there was no physical intrusion into Kylo's home. Law enforcement used technology, a thermal imaging device, to read the heat leaving the house, but by using that new technology, law enforcement gathered information that informed them of what was going on inside the home. In 2001, in a split five to four decision, the United States Supreme Court ruled that the use of the thermal imaging device was indeed a search under the Fourth Amendment, and an illegal search since law enforcement did not have a search warrant. The court reminded us of key language in the Katz case, where they said the Fourth Amendment protects people, not places. Then the court created a new rule for when law enforcement uses technology to gather information. The court stated, when the government uses a device that is not in general public use to explore the details of a home that would previously have been unknowable without physical intrusion, the surveillance is a search under the Fourth Amendment. In other words, law enforcement needed a warrant to use the thermal imaging device on Kylo's house. Court case in Kylo changed the analysis when it comes to using technology in criminal investigations. In Kylo, the Supreme Court emphasized 
that they will not look just at the language of the Fourth Amendment, nor will they blindly focus on the CATS test, which talks about a reasonable expectation of privacy. When confronting the use of technology, courts will examine what protections the Fourth Amendment provided at the time it was adopted in the 18th century. The court will expand protections in modern times to cover technology that can intrude upon the privacy the court believes was guaranteed 200 years ago. It did not matter that the Oregon guardsmen or law enforcement never stepped foot on Kylo's property, never entered his home or stepped on his curtilage. It did not matter that the thermal imager could only detect heat outside the home, not what was going on inside the house. What mattered to the court was that in 1791, when the Fourth Amendment was ratified, law enforcement could not know how hot a room was without entering a home. And in 2001, and still today, thermal imagers are not in general public use. Therefore, the use of this technology to determine that Kylo's attic was very warm constituted an unreasonable search under the Fourth Amendment. What happened to Danny Kylo? After litigation that lasts almost nine years, his sentence of just five years was reversed. The Supreme Court held that officers needed a search warrant to use the technology that was not in general public use to examine the heat leaving his home. Anytime law enforcement is using technology that is not in general public use, they must be concerned about whether they need a warrant. Using technology to gain information from an area that was private 200 years ago may require a search warrant today. Law enforcement must be wary that each technological advance may trigger additional judicial supervision. So talk to your prosecutor before using that cool new toy. My name is Patrick Walsh, and this has been a Fletzy Talks.